Standard Bank is Africa's largest banking group by assets and earnings and is 20% held by China's ICBC. Yeah, so traditionally the largest player in this market, although FNB First Rand has largely caught up and overwhelmed them with regard to market capitalization. The connection with the Chinese, that's interesting. Market cap of this one is how much? It is the market cap, 246.5 mm. billion rand. PE of? 14.08. And a dividend yield of 3.93%. I'm reading there, you see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we go. You fast track. That's a, a new uh, That's manner a of getting through our show. <laughs> exactly. Now, Standard Bank, apart from me maligning their technology, I mean, it is a big player across the board. Traditionally, management, currently the joint CEO situation. Sim Shabalala and Ben Kruger. Doing a solid job, I think, and it's got a big established capital base, so it's got a market-leading position in mortgages and a big position in corporate credit card as well as corporate banking, advisory work. Can't fault them. They have been through a tough couple of years. Restructuring, yes. refocusing, pulling out of territories that they potentially shouldn't have gone into in the first place. Yeah, that's an interesting observation. So they, at some point about five years ago, had aspirations to be a major global player. So they bought their way into London, obviously, with their big business. Then they went out and bought businesses in places like Turkey, Russia, and Argentina. And then the relationship with ICBC ensued. And in recent years, they've been offloading those foreign operations entirely, and often, in fact, selling them to ICBC, which is clearly an international player being as it's China's largest or one of Do the largest. Do you think that enough has been, uh, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not sure what the terminology, but the ICBC relationship has yielded enough value, rather? Let me I use that I suppose so. Look, they've got a 20% stake, so they can't really, they must either go larger or they're going to kind of just hold that and be their partner in Africa. I think they have worked together to unlock certain African territories. And to be fair to them, Standard Bank are probably the most advanced in terms of licenses around Africa. So the greatest potential medium term. Uh, I think the other interesting thing about them is whether or not they're going to sail out of that slightly disastrous write-down related to a aluminium trading mess in China. That seems now to be getting past them, and in the most recent numbers they indicated they were taking a little bit of a write-up because they perhaps overestimated the losses that they're going to incur. The uh, share price graph? Sort of bouncing around a little bit there. The initial reaction more favorably in 2015 to earnings and that right back of the gains. I don't know though. I mean, I do feel a little bit that they're losing a little bit of the technology edge. I'm sure that will come not This is just because your personal experience this morning. Or have there been similar experiences? Well, you know, the they have got their sort of app things going and their SMS banking and all of that. But you do sense maybe that they aren't quite as uh, on the front foot in that regard as first rand is. Well, you are qualified because mm. you do your, ba your business banking mm. with Standard. Mm. Hot or not? Mm, this is a tricky one. I'm going to call it not hot on account of the fact that the earnings profile this year has just been a little bit less uh, satisfactory. I think mm. your business banker should give you a call.